Hey, what's going on, folks? It's Justin Charnel here from OnyxDefined.com, and today I'm going to be talking real quick about uh, merch by Amazon and, and what the biggest problem with the platform is. Uh, so if you uh, somehow stumbled upon this video and don't know what merch by Amazon is, um, it is essentially a way for anybody who's been accepted to the program to upload designs, get them printed on t-shirts that Amazon will fulfill and print and ship to consumers in like two, three days, however long it takes, which really there are some good sides of this, but there are a little bit more bad sides. So to first start off, let's go to the good, um, good part is. You know, anytime you make a shirt for the creator, anytime you make a shirt or sell a shirt, you're going to make money, uh, depending on the price. If it's like, I think the lowest and the worst fucking uh, quality shirt will get you like nine fifty four will get you a penny or some shit like that. If as you go higher, you know, I think once you get up to like twenty two dollars, ninety nine cents, you get ten and some change per shirt profit. So it is a way to make some money. Uh, printing on demand, you don't have to worry about inventory. So if you are a designer, then great. You can put your designs on shirts and send them out and whatever. And unlike uh, some other services like Teespring and shit, uh, there's no minimum that you have to create. You can, you know, if you, if you create it and as soon as somebody buys it, it gets printed and shipped. There's no five minimum, 10 minimum or anything like that. So that's cool. Uh, the bad side though, um, because it's print on demand and there's no minimum order, uh, uh, if you don't order in bulk, you're going to get a direct garment print, which is pretty shitty quality. It's like, uh, uh, I don't have a shirt handy, but it's, oh, it's almost like uh, just sending it through a printer. Uh, it's like a stain that is well placed. I mean, that's basically it. Um, because of that, it's the, the shirts are going to be cheap they're gonna be cheap quality like the actual design is gonna be not as good as it could be uh, on top of that it started off as a program for developers uh, app developers to like game developers to make uh, shirts for their fans now they open the door and say hey anybody that gets a request or gets accepted can print shirts so what does that do that means internet marketers are flooding and just uploading shitty design after shitty design uh, just rip offs of each other and that's what's that that's the that's the economy of the print on demand Amazon merch shit it's uh, you start off you can until you sell 25 shirts you can only upload 25 designs this is you have to sell 25 of each of those shirts you just have to sell 25 total and then you get bumped up to 100 500 thousand four thousand eight thousand whatever it is after that so you only need one idea uh, let's just say dogs so you say my my cocker spaniel is the best and then you have a little silhouette of a cocker spaniel uh what people are doing now are taking that one design and changing cocker spaniel to german shepherd or chihuahua or beagle 25 times upload them all really quick and bank in that they get their 25 cells and okay that makes sense you know you got to have some you got to cater to the different markets but the problem is that everybody's doing this so and they're all copying each other so the only way you can come out ahead is if you either price your shit lower um as the original creator that's all, that's all you can do is price your shit lower uh what they can do is either just jack your design i mean make it just change so you don't get the, so they don't get in, you know in trouble uh then price it lower or take your design or your idea make it better and price it higher uh or the same as yours Either way, they're going to force you out of the market. So it's it's essentially creating a race to the bottom, which, you know, yeah, that's most of the internet, or anything that internet marketers touch, it turns into a race to the bottom because everybody's trying to compete with each other and everybody always has the same fucking idea. Um, be also, because it's a like the print on demand minimum is only one and it's to direct to garment, it's not a like a viable way to actually launch a if you want to start an actual t shirt company because your product's going to be trash. The desi designs might be great and it might be good for like a trial run or if you're ordering in bulk, but there's really no this is strictly made for people that just want to make money I mean it's not it's not it's not a viable way to launch an actual clothing line so yeah the only people that are actually left 
the you got the people that are that's originally intended for the app developers, the game designers that want to have a you know a Pikachu shirt or whatever fucking game they have say Pokemon wasn't popular, and then you have the people that will make twenty five designs with one design, twenty five variations of that same design, and hope one sticks. So that's uh, that's that. I mean, me personally, I'm still gonna fucking do it because why not? But that's that's the nature of the beast, and that's what's happening. So I guess it's not really a problem. It's just uh, that's that's what's that's the merch by Amazon economy, and right now and forever, it's it's gonna suck. So whatever. <laughs>